Anderson with Video Services Incorporated, and today we're going to take a look at the Soundcraft SI Expression 2 console. First, let's talk about how to create subgroups. This is going to come in really handy, particularly if you're doing musical applications where, say, you've got a, a number of microphones on a drum kit, but it would be really handy to be able to just bus all of that stuff to one fader, and then you could just bring up and down one fader, and the entire drum kit would follow that. So. Uh, to do that, we're going to use a mix output. Uh, it doesn't matter which one, but it does matter that you make it post fader. That way, whatever blend you have set up of the microphones in the group, they keep that relationship. So let's just say we're going to go ahead and use mix 12. All right, mix 12 happens to already be set post fader, which you can tell because it's this green color. If you need to change the settings of, of that, once uh, say we got mix 12 and you go into outputs and then you scroll down to where it says bus sends. And then if you click in there, that's where you can choose whether you want it to be pre or post. If I make it pre, they all turn yellow. For this example, we said we want to go post fader. So all post and now they're green again. Very important. Uh, to understand that. So, all right, so now that we've done that, essentially, these faders are just the sends into that mix bus. So we said, uh, okay, we've got this mic and, uh, you know, all of these mics here, and these are our drums, and we want these all to be sent into, you know, mix 12. So for the send level itself, you want to go ahead and send that at a nominal level. So you can actually do, there's a little quick key. If you hold the Alt key and then press the channels that you want to send, they'll send out at a nominal level into the bus. Again, you would still have whatever blend you created on, on the main page. That, that doesn't change. But the level going into the bus is at a nominal level. All right, so then after that, you say, okay, well, where does that, where does that come back? Where does that live? you go back into these fader layers. And if you remember, once you get down to fader layer, fader layer C, you've got mix bus 12 right here. So now all of those drum mics show up right here, which is great. There's two more things that we gotta take a look at still. So let's go back to our main page for a second. When you're creating a subgroup, you're essentially saying, I want all of you guys to go to this, this other fader, right? And then you'll continue normally down the line. It's important to remember to take each one of those channels out of the stereo bus because you don't want it to go there twice. So say we're, these were our drum mics, we're gonna go back, we're gonna pull every one of them out of the stereo bus. So now they're not going to the stereo bus, they are still going here. So as long as this mix of all our drums, the submix, is going to the stereo bus, then it's fine. It'll get there. The, the last thing that would be handy is to be able to have that fader live on this first layer so we don't have to jump down to layer C. So to do that, you go into a button here that's called Fader Setup. And what that allows you to do is to move anything anywhere within the board. Think of this board as four layers and each layer's got 22 channels on it. And you can make anything live wherever you want. And you use fader setup to do that. So we decided we want to take our drum mix and we want to go ahead and bring him in. Let's say we're going to bring him over here on channel 22. So what you do is you choose the destination that you want it to live at. You go into fader setup. And then you can see here, it gives you the choices. Are you talking about moving like a channel input? Are you moving a stereo input, one of your mix outputs, or a matrix, or effect sensors? All these different choices. So we were saying we wanted to go to one of our mixes. We, we used mix 12. So you go into here, scroll down to mix 12, and then boom, you can see it right away. It showed up. It's dark green, so you can see that was the fader that used to live down here. It still lives down here, by the way, and any change that you made where it normally lived would be reflected 
up here because they're literally the same thing now. But now what that gives you is the ability, you keep your nice blend of the drums that you mixed and you got it all where you want it, but now the overall drum kit can be moved up or down with just one fader, which is super handy for mixing. So that is um, how you do subgroups. It also, we, we got into the fader setup key, which is super important and handy to use. Um, the last little thing I'll show you real quick is mute groups. It can also be handy to be able to mute groups of things with the press of one button. That's very easy to do. Um, it lives in this section right here, and you have four mute groups that you can assign. So what you do is you hit setup, turns red, then you choose one of them. You're like, okay, um, we'll try two. Okay, so you choose one of them, and then it's as easy as assigning the channels you want to be in that group. So let's say we wanted all six of these channels to be all in that mute group. Now they're all lit up and selected, and then you just hit setup again. And now mute group two is all six of those channels. If I wanted to mute them all at once, you just hit that number two group, and they all mute. And you can see they turn red to show that they're muted. When you want to unmute them, just hit it again. So once again, I'm Eric Anderson with Video Services Incorporated. Uh, I hope you found some of these videos informative and are helpful to you as you try to use the Soundcraft Expression SI2 console. Uh, it's very flexible, it's got a lot of features and packs a lot of uh, punch in a pretty small footprint. So enjoy and good luck out there.